Hey there, Qualia Soup. In general, I think your videos are awesome, and the one I am responding to is no exception. However, I have a little bit of a bone to pick with your delivery of the Monty Hall Dilemma. You say, imagine you're on a game show. You have to choose which of three doors has a car behind it. You make a choice. Then the host opens one of the other doors, but there's no car. He now tells you, you can either stick with your first choice, or switch to the remaining door. What do you do? Stick or switch? The problem is that this is ambiguous. The essential clincher of this dilemma is that the behaviour of the host is not random, but you have not given any indication of this. In fact, solving the dilemma in the form you presented it relies on our general knowledge that game show hosts will likely behave in such a way that makes the show more entertaining, that having the host reveal the door with a car behind it is less entertaining, and thus the host will likely ensure that the car is not chosen. Let's examine what happens if the host opens a remaining door randomly. Since the numbering system is arbitrary, we'll stick with the convention of this problem and call the contestant's choice door number one. The remaining doors are 2 and 3, and the door with the car behind it is marked with an asterisk. We'll consider all the permutations, and in each case we'll have the host choose either door 2 or door 3, and note the doors remaining and where the prize is on the last line. As you can see, each column represents the prize being behind a different door and each row represents a different choice by the host. All of these permutations are equally likely if the host has acted randomly. If it is simply given that the host did not reveal a car, and we know there is no selection bias, then the remaining four permutations are equally likely. Now there are two possibilities where you have selected the correct door, and two possibilities where you have selected the wrong door. This is why our instinctive reaction to this problem, that our chances have increased to 50-50 and that switching is pointless, is correct if we are to assume that the host behaviour is random. Another way of looking at this problem is whether or not the host's failure to reveal a car when he eliminates a door constitutes evidence that our original choice of door was correct. If the host's behaviour is random, then the fact that the car was not revealed when the host eliminated a door constitutes evidence that our choice of door was correct, because if our choice was incorrect, there was a 50-50 chance of the host revealing the car when he eliminated one of the doors, and this did not happen. However, if the host deliberately set out to ensure that the eliminated door did not contain the car, then the fact that the eliminated door did not contain the car is not evidence that our choice was correct, as this inconsistent observation is impossible regardless of whether our door contained the car. In a somewhat complementary way, if, for some absurd reason, the host deliberately set out to ensure the eliminated door did in fact contain the car, then when we are in the position to stick or switch, it is certain that we should stick, because if the alternative door contained the car, we know the host would have chosen it, and thus it is certain that the car is behind our door. However, as I mentioned, this possibility is rather absurd because the host really has no reason to deliberately reveal the car. Interestingly, if we simply don't know what the host's behaviour will be, the fact that the host revealed a door which did not contain the car is actually evidence that the host has deliberately set out to ensure he does not reveal the car. If you remember, if the host behaves randomly, the chances are 50-50, but if the host deliberately chooses, the odds are one-third, two-thirds. This means that we have good reason to always switch rather than stick, because simply being in the situation 
favours the possibility that the host has deliberately chosen, and if the choice wasn't deliberate, it's still only 50-50 anyway, so sticking has no benefit.